When was the last time you tried something for the first time? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's good to have you back and a happy Easter to you all. I hope we are all reminded of the reason for the season and we are surrounded by lots of love and Easter eggs. So in today's video guys, I will be sharing with you my first time ever experiences since living in England. So let's go. Pork meat. Not because they are unhealthy or not readily available. We Africans love to eat meat and lots of it. But pork meat was not something I grew up eating. Maybe because I was surrounded by Muslim friends and families, but we never had pork meat in our home. But since living in England, I've had the pleasure of eating pork ribs, pork sausages, bacon. I am still not a fan. It's a bit, I find it a bit salty. But yeah, I would not naturally gravitate towards pork meat, but would eat it out of respect for maybe a host. Maybe I've been invited you know, to a house or for dinner. I would eat it out of respect to the host who is serving it. But yeah, pork meat is still not my thing. The first time I ever got on a train was in England. We have trains in Nigeria, but trains in Nigeria took you uh, a minimum of two hours journey from one major town to the other. We had other options like buses, uber tricycles and your own personal cars of course but i never took the train in nigeria i remember my first experiences i had gotten lost a couple of times i had missed my stop i had gone back and got fought it was a hot mess i still you know fidget every time i have to take the train especially in london it's i find it very chaotic but yeah it's you know grateful for the convenience of the train in nigeria the trains took a trip of minimum of two hours from one major town to the other but here in england you have train trips like 10 minutes five minutes you know intra city so which was which is really good so yes my first time ever taking a train was in england castles there are not a lot of castles in nigeria maybe the odd one or two i haven't been to one but yes i love visiting castles since living in england i make it a point of duty that Whenever we are in a new town or city that I stop by at a castle, I love history. I love learning about history of our forebears, our ancestors of the town. It's one of the things I love to do. So yes, I've been to a couple of um, castles since living here and I hope to visit more. Zip lining. I must have been a very serious child growing up. I never did zip lining and I did it here in England and I loved it. I am glad there's no age restriction to doing like zip lining. It's so much fun. I know I was a bit frightened at first of the height, but it was a good experience. And I would advise if you've never tried it, conquer your fear and try it. It was my very first time ever trying it, and I loved it. It was so much fun. I was like, where have I been all my life? Why haven't I done this? Well, like they say, it's never too late. You feel fun, you've got to call them. It, yeah. You need to sit down, but you you adjust yourself as you get going. Yeah, yeah. So make sure, <laughs> make sure you. Yes. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Just otherwise. Hold on and make, then let yourself get on the platform. Yeah. Hold it properly. Yeah. Make sure. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, Gloria. You'll be fine. Right. Yeah. You in? Okay. Yeah, off you go. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Riding in an ambulance. In 2021, unfortunately, I had to go into hospital and my husband called the ambulance. And I remember the paramedics were so nice and they made me very, very comfortable during the 15 minutes ride to the hospital. Um, like I mentioned previously, I hardly fall ill and touch wood. I'm not, no, I don't pray to fall ill. And I hope, again, it was my first time ever in an ambulance and I pray to God that's my very last time I ever take the ambulance. But yes, obviously I had to. You know he, he had to make the list because it's the first time experience and yes and i'm grateful for the convenience of an ambulance and we called them and they turned up so that was good 
So yes, those were my first time ever experiences since living in England and I'm sure there will be so many firsts to come. I am looking forward to those. Share with me in the comment section what were your first time ever experiences. It doesn't have to be living in England. It could be anywhere, anything. What was the, when was the last time you did something for the first time? So that's it for me today, guys. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Please stay safe and God bless. Bye. There's a reason why the colors of the rainbows are so bright It's for you and me to learn, learn, yeah There are times in life and me